the most important thing for me is having an argument when you're pitching to a national journalist. It's all about you know what does your person argue, what needs to change, rather than saying what they mm. could potentially discuss. It just gives such a stronger pitch. The timing as well is everything. Uh, I think the strongest times are eight and nine before the journalists have started writing stuff. Two and three is like and 10 and 11 is the worst possible times because they're either filing stories, thinking of other things, they don't have time to look at emails. So start early in the day, sometimes even later in the day is perfect as well mm. for, for yeah. pitching. I'd have to agree with you. I think um, working around their schedule is really important as well. Um, there was an editor at The Sun when I was pitching him, he was actually based in the US, so I had to make sure that I pitched him on my lunchtime or just before my lunch break to make sure that he, I got in front of him for the start of his scheduling. Um, I think also as well, like, to add to your point, is tailoring your pitch, making sure that you really personalise it and go that extra mile. This could be linking to a recent story they've wrote or sort of connecting um, with them on something they've posted on social media. Just giving it that personal touch will grab them in better. I think to add to that as well, like you're gonna, your email is going to be one of hundreds, so you've mm -hmm. really got to make sure that you, you make that heading catchy mm -hmm. and something that's going to you know, really get their eye and pick it out of thousands that flood their inbox every morning all exactly. wanting to sell a story and I think adding to what you say like knowing what they're going what they're writing about at that mm. moment in time so you can really tailor it towards their current interest is going to be really helpful to yeah. helping it stand out.